Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I've already completed the chapter Electricity. Uh, it's chapter lecture, exercise and the index question. So finally we'll be looking on some of the questions that came in the sample paper, which was released by CBSE last year. Uh, the pretty much the similar type of pattern uh, questions would come again for your board exams. So it's very important to go through all these questions and uh, let's get with, get started with it. A piece of wire of resistance R is, cut, is cut into three equal parts. These parts are then connected in parallel. So first of all, if they are cut into three equal parts, each part would be three, right? If the equivalent resistance of this scalar combination is R1, what is the value of the ratio R1 is to R? Now this question is directly from your NCRT. Uh, I think in your book, it was cut into five pieces. That's the only difference which was there. Uh, it was either in the, I think it was in the exercise questions. So straight away, you're getting a straight question from your book. So it's it's two marks too from this chapter. So let's solve it. We know that equivalent resistance is one by R1 is equal to sum of all these, which will be three plus three plus three by R, which is uh, nine. So it's going to be R1 by R is equal to 1 by 9. Therefore, the ratio is 1 is to 9. This is how we solve this question. Let's have a look at what kind of marking are they doing it. So half mark you get if you're able to understand what the question is meaning or what is given to you. They had told us it is divided into three equal parts. So this is the first inference you're supposed to make from the question. Next one is to solve it and finally writing the answer fetches you another uh, 0 0.5 mark. So in total, you get two mark. Okay, if you miss any of these steps, the mark cancels out. Okay, so be careful, like write whatever you know regarding the question, because which, whichever question you know, write that to your complete maximum because you never know if you'll lose any marks because of the marking schemes, right? Next one, state the law that explains the heating effect of current with respect to measurable properties in an electrical circuit. They told us to state, okay, so which, which is that law which we uh, talk about the heating effects. Half mark you would get just for stating it. That is Joule's law of heating. Okay. And um, what? how do you state it? Joule's law of stating states, uh, sorry, heating states that the heat dissipated across the resistor is directly proportional to the square of the current, directly proportional to the resistance, and directly proportional to the time through which it falls, uh, flows, right? So this, you should not write it like this in your exam. You need to write it in this sentence statement format like I've taught in the lecture times. So that will fetch, this is half mark. And this will give you another 1.5 mark, which will give you two marks just for state, stating the uh, stating the law. I personally feel that instead of, uh, since they asked you to write a law and they already questioned you regarding Joule's law, most probably in your board exam, this is just a guess, most probably in your board exam, you will be told to state Ohm's law and maybe some numerical or a factor, what are the factors which is responsible will be asked. In that case, always write the formula, state it, okay, state everything, whatever you know about the law, um, and that should be enough. That will fetch you the mark, right? So it says, I guess, since they already asked you about heating effects, most probably it should be on slow here. The second part is uh, list the factors on which the resistance of a conductor depends. We know the formula, which is R is equal to rho L by A. So it is related to the length, area of cross-section, and area of cross-section is related to the temperature, right? As temperature increases, some metals expand and uh, contract. And another thing is the nature of the material. That's also a factor. Now, 
this is the answer for this question but as i told 1.5 for naming and uh, sorry 0.5 for naming the law alone and stating 1.5 okay um in the resistance together it's one mark so they are only telling you that you have to write two of the factors which we can't be pretty much sure that it would be the same case in your board exam so which how much ever the ones you know even if it's just for one mark write two of them like fully defined like in a nice statement the other two at least just stated like what is it nature okay and the temperature write at least these two words okay moving to the next one the last one is a numerical question okay uh, it's actually pretty easy numerical question compared to the questions we did in uh, the chapters and stuff Vinita and Ahmed uh, represent demonstrated a circuit that operates it to don't get scared by just looking at the diagram okay the first query when i was like why is it so complicated but it's easy let's see operates it two headlights and two sides of a car in the school exhibition based on the demonstrated uh, circuit answer the following questions said what happens when switch a is connected to uh, switch a is connected to position 2 switch a is connected to position 2 what happens straight away see if you are switching on the circuit which one gets a current the 12 ohm headlights or whatever that is i think it's a uh, headlights yeah so the 12 ohm headlights on because they are getting the current right if you connect it to position 3 it goes to this and the 4 ohm resistors gets on straight away that was just from the diagram right that was just common sense Fun potential difference across uh, each lamp when it's lit so potential difference um, in this case for each of the lamps can you see they all are connected in parallel connections if they're connected in parallel the potential difference remains the same fair enough moving on to the next one calculate the current in each 12 ohm uh, lamp when it is lit so how do we calculate the current v is equal to i v is equal to ir the first case which is a uh, v is 12 i times 12 so i is equal to 1 ampere so it's going to be 1 ampere here and in the second case it's going to be 12 is equal to i times 4 so i is equal to 3 ampere so the answer is 3 ampere okay show its calculations which type of lamp has higher power so in order to find the power now that's an optional question for the third one okay so um for the first time we know v is equal to vi uh the voltage 12 into the current okay uh, in this case we already found the current so it is fine but since it's an all question we would not actually find the current right we would directly find with the values we have in that case we'll choose a formula which does not have i so p is equal to v square by r is another option so it's going to be 12 times 12 divided by 12 it's going to be 12 for the first case which is with 12 um, ohm resistance and the second case with 4 ohm resistance so that is going to be 36 watt so the one with 4 ohm will have higher power so this is the right answer okay i would say find this far easier you don't you don't have to be like stuck uh, thinking about this formula straight away put ohms law and find the solution so let's see how did they give you the marking here for the que first question half half for both the marking uh second question one mark straight just for telling that it's 12 ohm uh sorry 12 watt 12 volt and then the next one is carrying the current one one each fair enough and then a half mark for each steps okay and one mark a half mark lies for telling which is the correct uh, like what which is the correct answer with the higher higher power among the two so this is it uh so as you have seen like the questions 
one of them is theory based two of them are numerical based so in total is three questions from this chapter which uh, is to be expected uh, for the board exam so prepare accordingly uh, has more weightages put on uh, numericals and just one and i'm pretty sure it's going to be own slow cuz that is another law which we have in this chapter for a three uh, for the theory based So thank you so much for listening to my video and I'll be coming with up with the next chapter which is magnetic effects of electric current. So thank you and till then bye bye.